What's up Ramblers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Amra with the Ramblin' Richardsons and <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell but uh, my voice is a little bit on the horse side because our entire family finally happened. We got COVID this whole past week. I've been trying to upload as much as I could. I did test negative yesterday but my child is still positive. I'm gonna take another COVID test just to make sure that I'm not relapsing COVID. Got my COVID test here. These are always fun to do. I'm just gonna double check to make sure I don't have the COVID no mo. Now the funnest part. We'll go back and check on that. We have some cool new stuff. I wanted to share that with you guys. So do me a favor, go down there, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching the videos, helping us push that algorithm out there. I did want to do a little unboxing. We have a couple of things here. So let me grab it here. Bespoke Post. Again, we're not sponsored by Bespoke Post. I have to tell you, I recently had to call in to their customer service when there was a problem. And every single time I've ever had an issue with any of my Bespoke Post boxes, customer service has been a plus. They're a fantastic company. I would 10 out of 10 recommend them. Curated things from small businesses. Bespoke Post quality finds for curious minds. Again, they focus on small businesses. This is one that I was looking forward to a lot. This one is called Drizzle. Right, this is Sardell Kitchen, 100% Italian extra virgin olive oil. And I just ran out of olive oil. Olive oil is a staple in our kitchen. The truth is in the taste. Sardell, that's not all. We also have Sardell balsamic vinegar. Take a look at that guy. Beautiful. It's got fig aroma. So we got two of these. I make a mean, um, what's it called? Oh man, I forgot what it was called now. It's chicken with like tomatoes and onions and basil. I'm gonna have to look that up. Bruschetta chicken. Bruschetta chicken. Balsamic vinegar, onions, basil, tomatoes. Bruschetta chicken. <sighs> Bespoke posts. Quality finds for the curious mind. You can check them out at bespokepost.com. Again, not sponsored, but look in your way, Bespoke Post. This guy. And one day it fell over and it broke this little piece right here and she still works. But from time to time, something happens where it, it leaks out. I ordered this. Bare Edge, made in the USA. Lovely little knife. Let's open this guy up. This is a half gallon, two liters. This is one gallon, 3.8 liters. She is definitely hold a little bit more water. I was having to fill this up at least once a week. This will last me a while. I also have a little spray nozzle. We're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy put together right now. So this will be easy to take around. Spray all the enclosures down, water all of the plants and the indoor plants that we have, and not have to go fill it up every single week. This is gonna save me a lot of time and a lot of effort. So now, we gotta go try it out. That's 
say it works great. Negative COVID test. One of the last things that came that I'm super excited about is this Pangea Gecko Diet. It's apricot flavored. And I went ahead and mixed up a little bit of this stuff for Johnny. So this is like more than a year. Um, I may have to throw some out or get another gecko. Here it is, looks like baby food. We're gonna give some to him. I got a little dish right here. Now, Johnny is this long from tail to nose. He's not very big. And he escaped on me the other day. Catch him with a little deli cup. He likes to try to get out of his enclosure, but we're gonna give him a little bit of this and I will show you guys that process. If you've got a gecko that eats things other than insects, my peacock day gecko, Johnny, primarily fruit and some insects, but for the most part, he eats a gecko diet. So crested geckos, gargoyle geckos, Lichianus geckos, any of the new Caledonian geckos from that region, they're going to eat this. Um, all versions of day geckos are gonna need something like this in their diet. Vitamins and calcium and stuff already in this. So I don't have to supplement his diet like I do with my leopard gecko or my veiled chameleon. So this is my little feeding thing. I don't do the little feeding cups. I like this better. It suction cups onto the glass. A little demonstration for you guys here. Just like that. And he can come in and eat as much as he likes. He's not very uh, big. This thing stays on pretty well. So every few days, I will give him some of this. This is way more than what he would eat in a week. So, uh, but this was the first time giving him some some of that in there just like that so it looks kind of like baby food i mixed in a banana into this you don't have to but i had a banana that was going bad and needed to be used so we got the banana in there now we're gonna go put it in his enclosure hopefully he'll behave <sighs> let's see if i can find him i don't know if you guys can see him in here or not when he escaped the other day he was right up in here so when i opened this up he popped out Investigating the food that we gave him. He's a quick little guy. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna have him eat. I'm gonna have some food. <laughs> Well, Ramblers, that pretty much wraps up this video. I really appreciate you staying to the very end of the video club here with me. I'm gonna wrap this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, life's about the journey, not the destination. And we'll see you, as always, on the next video. Peace. Aromatize. Aromatize. Aromatize.